crew, and welcome back to Stellaris. This week is going to be all Stellaris. Because there's a new DLC, and we got to try it out. Doc, chill out. Where I'm, I'm, I'm talking here. Come on. Don't ruin it. Ah, been watching too many Coco. Coco. You know Coco? Coco Diaz? Joey Diaz? Been watching too many Joey Diaz. I'm probably going to go with Joey Diaz at one point. Um, okay, so let's see. We are currently exploring. So why is... Why is it so big? Let's see. Do you have... Oh my god! What? No! No! What? That's... What? That... What? Wow! Jump drive! This is gonna be... Construction this is complete. Game changer. Wow. That's... That's... I don't even know where to start. That's just so stupid. Really. So, so stupid. Why would... Wow. I'm not gonna complain though. I should not be complaining. I should not be complaining. That's... I mean... Come on. <laughs> come on, come on. We're, we're gonna abuse it. You know we're gonna abuse this. Thank you. Thank you very much. So, what the hell do we do with you? Do we move you? Or... Okay, I'm just gonna move it here. That's what happens. Doc, chill out. Wow, that's really draining us. Uh, while conducting their survey on Dossal B-3, the ISS Discovery detected the remains of an automated ship during orbit. It is at least a thousand years old and seems to have been subjected to a heavy missile barrage, but one of its manufacturing may still work in condition. Science officer has confirmed the product can be restored. Nice. Have you finished? Yes, you have. Let's see what we can do. See what we can really, really, really do. One second. Let's close that window. Okay. Okay. So, ah, you're stubborn. You are stubborn. Why are you stubborn? I'm. I'm really. I'm really looking forward to the changes that they're going to be making on the way sectors are handled. Because I'm pretty sure it's still shit. And that's a fact. It's never gonna change. I mean, it's never gonna be fixed in the first place. Come on, let's 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 not kid ourselves. It's never going to be fixed. Fuck. Let's just. Um. Ooh, I found something. Oh, an ice level four. Fancy. Uh, or you're level four. Okay, you're already level four. And you and you just got all your experience from one site. Prospect analyzed. Look at that, six point seven. That's the first fifty years of the fucking game. What? Research complete. We did it. Oh, okay. The reports of strange free floating crystal-like objects observed certain systems have been investigated. The ship's size objects and their slightly smaller but equally crystal like satellites have first appeared inert, but sudden shifts in the orientation relative to our ships and new energy signatures emerging from within the prisms indicate that they should be regarded as hazardous and approached with caution. Even should we not find a martial use for them, stunning a shattered crystal would no doubt yield interesting results. Let's see. Damage. Yeah. Hunters? No. Let's study them. Oh, I mean, whoa, whoa, whoa. research complete. We'll we did okay. it. Special power completed. The ISS Mississippi has successfully restored power to the armored shipyard. The sailing unit resumed its interrupted construction. Oh no! Just had a hand build an advanced frigate of known design. Unfortunately, the engine facility broke down completely afterwards and has been deemed beyond repair. Oh crap! Another ship, really? Okay. What's it called? The ISS Dark Wanderer. This is Diablo. 
This is Diablo. Are we gonna die? Finally. Ooh. What the hell? Wait, 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 hold on. What? Why did we all of a sudden get like three? I what? We're corporate. We shouldn't whatever. Whatever. Science of battle. There is clear evidence that a massive space battle took place in close orbit of Dawson Second A. At some point in the last five thousand years, the surface on one side of the moon is pockmarked with craters from stray weapon blasts and scans from the ISIS discovery have picked up several hulks on the ground. Though these wrecked ships are all in very poor condition, the fact that anything remains at all after the damage they must have sustained is a testament in their advanced design. Um, science officer Akani Kumalo is preparing an expedition to sift through the sterile coast for any available technology. Nice. Let's do that. What do we have here? Ocean world and Earthic world. So, no habitable planets nearby. Nice. Just... Speechy, I guess. Whatever. Uh, kill this picked automatically. Ah, uh, yeah, we can't change that. Well then. So it's going to more housing. Okay. Intriguing. And obviously more work. Which an energy sector. Because we don't have any habitable planets nearby, which sucks. Beta aliens. Are we investigating the beta aliens? Yes we are. Crystal study. Wow. Scouting for fucking ever. So nope. Research complete. Hmm. Okay, so the team under of science officer Akani Kumalo has finished their expedition docile 2A and returned to the ISS discovery. Thankfully, the starship graveyard on the surface proved to be a technological treasure trove. Nice. Some of the remains of this vessel has advanced her research in certain fields by several years, and there are yet things to discover. A permanent science outpost in orbit will be a great boon to our starship engineering effort. Nice. Very nice, very good, very nice, very good. Nice. Definitely nice. Could we break this? Yes, we could definitely break them with the massive ship that we have. You know what? Let's do the following. Let's all move up here. Wow, those engines are must be really advanced for that. That's... Yeah, that ship's not fucking around. Anomaly found. Hey, can we monetize this? We can probably monetize that. Boom. The world, ocean world. We built something. God damn it. More aliens. Ooh. A real alien ship. Okay. Wait, what? Oh. Sorry, 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 sorry. Completely got lost in that. Should have put you to analyze whatever it was that you were at, supposed to be analyzing. Sorry! Research complete. Let's see, ancient mine drones. Oh, nice. Force of deep space drones and certain systems have been investigated. The drones appear to be workers and custodians of the autonomous orbital mining operation established millennia ago and the soon abandoned. Wait, what? Whoa! Pause there. Skippy. So it was a ago and then soon abandoned by all but the drones themselves, judging by the state of the processing equipment. Uh, their purpose is obvious enough mining, but who is who it is that tests them is not immediately apparent. What is obvious is that no shipment of minerals have been removed from the system in hundreds if not thousands of years. They're, they may only be old drones, but they should be kept under close watch by the Vision Competitive Interplanetary. Of course. Of course they should be put under watch. Why not? Signs of precursor activity. Radiated asteroid. Ah, yes. Okay, so let's see. Let's put you together. Okay. And we're gonna need a new leader for that. Adaptable. 
Ever we 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 I don't know. Prospect analyzed. We're gonna break something. I'm pretty sure of that. Uh, let's see. Mineral purification. Mm, Surge refineries. Let's do that. Gotta get that. Wow, there's no have it all done. In range. That was not a good idea. And neither was that. But hey, at least, you know, at least I got that fixed, so now we're not losing any money. <laughs> ah, that was stupid. Yeah, okay. Let's see, next one. So where are we looking for right now? So after the discovery has been made, are we looking more into prosperity? I'm really not, definitely not. Domination. Hmm. Supremacy might be a thing that we're looking for. Are you sure that should be a thing that we should be looking for? There's also expansion. You know what? I'll, I'll move, move towards expansion. <laughs> because we're, we're looking forward for that. Do that. Rather, sorry. Grand Herald. Well, well, it. I mean, well, it seems to be something that could hold its own. It definitely cannot fight a damn horde of crystalline creatures. Construction complete. Let's go, cool, Soul. Just fix yourself. Oh, nice. That's exactly what I needed. Capacity Overlord Fusion Reactor. Capacity Overload. Capacity Overload. Let's see. ES-23 was a jungle harassing colony that had only just been found at the time of their extinction. We have found the spare... We have found the spares. Ruins of a single settlement and a rudimentary spaceport in the planet's northern hemisphere. Judging by the fossilized remains, this world appears to have been among the first to be hit by the Javarian Pox, the ravage of Russian space. Uh, hard work, blah blah blah. Ah, oh, expertise in computing, okay. That's, that's interesting. Let's check the colony remains. I mean, we're already here. So, why not? And you know what? Let me just build... Oh, you. I'm just building our construction ship. I shouldn't be doing that. Still gonna do it though. Nice. Yeah, I could, I could definitely continue to build them. We built something. Oh, nice. Who are you? Egalitarian, fanatic, militarist. Oof, no. 
the Arkan Nagalor sends regards from the ruling council of the Phoenix Coalition who hope for a productive relationship with your people, but be warned that our military will respond to a transition or our space with Mexican force. <sighs> we'll fight for our right to exist. The news that we have encountered intelligent alien life for the first time have been received with mixed feelings by our populace. This confirms what we had unsuspected. We're not alone in this galaxy. Each new alien species we encounter represents both an opportunity and a threat. We must be wary. These particular signals have a level of technology similar to our own, indicating that they have achieved space flight at roughly the same time, which they did. Whatever. Let's see, can we? Can we? Can we? Uh huh. Of course, with our friendly attitude. Oh man. Their war. I cannot declare war on you. But I, I would really like to do that. If I'm quite honest. Oh no. No, you don't. No, you don't. Is there an archaeological site? Uh, what? Oh, you have two archaeological sites? Uh, screw you. Damn it. There as soon as possible. Yes, I don't want to do those camps. Let's see, archaeologists on Ace Upon Third have made a startling discovery. All evidence points conclusively towards the this unassuming planet having been the origin of the Javorian pox. A rare form of native bacteria invaded the Eurasian colony due to a manufacturing flaw in a quarantine seal, and from there it spread to the air filters of a visiting merchant ship. Since the pox spread at such an unprecedented rate, it is doubtful whatever the Erasian themselves even had time to learn its origins. Probably not. We built something. Probably not. Screw you. Bastard. It's power pathetic. I wonder why. Anomaly found. Hey, can we monetize this? Wait, wait, wait. Crash starship. A small canyon of sorts have been carved into the surface of this planet by a violent impact of a starship. What remains of the vessel can still be found on the canyon floor, although the crash must have occurred eons ago. The, wreck the wreckage appears to be reasonably intact. An archaeological expedition would be able to learn more. Ooh. Oof. We'll definitely have to check that out. Yeah, we need, we need to we need to pump it. We need to pump it real hard <laughs> because we wanted expedition side. Let's see, we'll conduct surface scans on Bora Bara on Boro Baba Second Sea. Science officer Akani Kumalo and the crew of the ISS Discovery discover what appears to be an artificially carved slab of rock covered in alien writing. They have not detected any other origins of alien activity in the moon, and exactly how this mural came to be here is a mystery. We have prepared a special product to translate the mural. Okay. Okay. Yeah, that takes a while, but it's it's quite a good project. You get a lot of research. Prospect on that. analyzed. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. Research project site. Let's go. Yeah. Screw you and your goddamn expedition over here. I'm not gonna let you touch anything at all. Oof, capacity 50. Oh, we're getting close to that. A little afraid. Ah, oh, damn you. Why, why, why? Come on, automatic expression. Let's go. Construction complete. Bastard. Anomaly found. Hey, can we monetize this? Let's, let's, let's give it a chance. Let's give it a chance. Come on, come on, come on. Sign a scientist. Let's see. Are we still researching that? Okay, yes. Yes, we are. The negotiations for appointing a new chairman are underway. Crap. Let's see. Uh, abstain. A new rule has been elected. Chairwoman Clara Evans will run until the next election, which will take place in 2040. Oh, crap. That's one of the things that I don't like. Start losing people. Left 
right. Let's see. Maybe not the best option, but boom. We built something. Alright, alright. We did build something. Ooh, that's some nice train. Gotta get that. Yeah, definitely get that. Some aliens, we're gonna live Research alone. Research complete. We did it. Research project completed. Science officer Akani Kumalo has managed to partially translate the alien world discovery in Boro Baba Second Sea. The text contains a staggering amount of data, and the mural evidently serves as some sort of low-tech library. It describes, in broad terms, the collective technology knowledge of an alien civilization that dominated this region of the galaxy some 80 million years ago. A lot of it is already known to us, but the data does contain several promising leads for technologies we have we had yet to consider. There is enough data here to keep our scientists busy for decades, but we will need an orbital research station facility to continue the translation efforts. Okay. Can definitely work that out. Can definitely work that out. Excavate site. Yes, please. Give me something, give me glory. Okay. All right. So, gonna end up the episode here. It, scientific progress is going very well, although I'm not very convinced about what the hell are these supposed to be, or if they're ever gonna be. Wow, you know a lot of people apparently. I'm. I'm considering. Obliterating them. The question is, should we or should we not? 67, 67, 67. Okay. We'll check that on next episode. In the meantime, that's it for now. Remember, if you have comments or questions, leave them down in the comment section below. Like, share, and subscribe if you haven't done so. Thank you very much for tuning in, and have a good one.